The Sunday Telegraph now, and another classic novel is being smeared by its own publisher, Diane. Oh, yes. So, um, the Telegraph says that Gone with the Wind has been branded harmful by its own publisher. So now, at the front of Gone with the Wind, uh, there is a trigger warning and an essay. And the trigger warning will tell would-be readers that it was written in a time when there were racist elements and it could be harmful or hurtful. Now, I think this is brilliant. I really do, because there's going to be people who might read Gone with the Wind. I mean, I. I doubt it, hmm? to be honest with you, because you already know there's a film, so you might as well just watch that and just put a warning in front of the film. Hmm. And those people are going to watch it and go, this is horrendous, but it is a piece of history. So rather than change the piece of history, just say, oh, by the way, um, this is not how we behave now, as we all know, but look, this is what the situation was like. And I think that's an actually a really good idea, rather than change the original text. So it's good that they haven't revised the text. As we've yeah. seen with Roald Dahl, for example, a sensitivity uh, reader has gone in and made changes, although I don't think they're doing that with the Quran for some reason. But they're happy to do it to, to uh, roll Dahl because he's, he's dead and he can't kick off about it. But, uh, but this, uh, you, you think putting a warning on it? I'd have thought it's a book. It's a book set in like the old days. It's going to have some like, you know, whatever pirates or something that say bad things. Well, I think they should take this a step further and just every offensive album that's ever been made music-wise, they should just put an essay between every song. <laughs> so if it's like a sexist a glam metal band from the 80s or like a, yeah. a violent hip-hop album, you know, just an essay in between. Right. Don't, let, don't let people get to the... The, you know, the interesting, problematic stuff until they've been lectured. That's, yeah. that's my thoughts.